Okay, as equities slide, the dollar index is up at a three-year high. We'll take a look at what's happening in the currency markets. Dollar yen was just back down to uh, low 97s. Euro dollar slightly weaker, below 126. Sterling dollar weaker at 142, and euro sterling uh, slightly firmer towards the 88.60 mark. Joining us for more, Keith Miller, currency strategist at Corporate FX. Uh, Keith, we're still seeing sort of risk aversion. You know, I suppose still boosting the dollar, but uh, this week with the central bank meetings from the UK and the eurozone and the employment report in the US out on Friday. Is there any, I mean, is there any sense for currency traders to take actually any position, major positions ahead of those events and all the data we've got? They, they, they will have to, of course, but it's, it's where they put it. And as you say, risk aversion seems to be key at the moment. It's interesting that you mentioned the, the, the three-month high on the dollar index. You've got to look at the mechanics of why that is. It was only really last week that we had the story out of um, uh, out of Japan that maybe the carry trade unwinding is now unwound and the inflows into Japan are now being overshadowed by the outflows. The demand or maybe the safe haven demand for the yen is over. Um, therefore, where do they go? And, and of course, it's the US dollar, which is, is really no, no surprise as to the sentiment now why we're seeing the dollar highs. Now, Keith, a number of the European banks have significant exposure to AIG, the global insurance giant. I mean, how much of uh, today's reaction and where the euro is trading is as a result of the U.S. government's action in stepping in and taking uh, more lending efforts to AIG and encouraging it to split itself up? It certainly dented the sentiment. Um, with regards to encouraging to, to, to break it up, I don't know how much real effect that would have on, on, on the euro. Because if you look, the dollar is just as exposed as the euro, or, or even more exposed rather on the euro than on the, in this whole AIG story. So they're both weakening off. It just seems to be at the moment that the dollar is definitely, um, definitely winning purely due to the safe haven demand. With, with news of, of AIG being broken up, with, with news of the third Citibank rescue, people are really scared. People really need to know where to put their money. And the dollar is the only, uh, only currency winning at the moment. Keith, hi, it's Lisa over in Singapore. How big of a deal is uh, what's happening in Eastern Europe now for the euro? Um, this is a huge political story. It is huge. I mean, we've got a, uh, with regards to Europe, um, the, the, the problems that are happening in, in Eastern Europe and within Central Europe is, is concentrated very much with inside the, the European Union and the Euro. It is a political story. They do need to help each other out. I mean, at the end of the day, charity really does begin at home and these countries who are trying to boost their own industries whether it's the auto industry whether it's the financial industry whatever it may be that's just natural instinct they will sort this out it's only a temporary glitch and we'll see um, we'll see the, the the eastern european companies protected as much as they can okay keith we'll leave it have a good week thanks for joining okay. us keith miller currency strategist at corporate F